No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. The gates of hell should not prevail. something to you the enemy has already lost when you stop being attacked that is indication that your breakthrough is on the way and if the enemy cannot stop your breakthrough he will try to delay I'll just say this right here just like how just like how it is i'm gonna tell you right here you gotta fight a bad mood baby I'm, yeah you gotta fight a fight a bad mood like your life depend on it hello somebody you gotta fight a bad mood like your life depend on it because guess what it does it's already done spread the gospel because you don't believe that spreading the gospel is as important to you anyone that can say they won't evangelize is because of the fact that you have not been infused with the Holy Spirit
See, when you're infused by the Holy Spirit, you're going to feel something that's going to prick and tug at your heart. Being infused with the Holy Spirit would push you to create and to be a supporting factor for your brother and for your sister. That means that when your brother is down on his worst position at his worst self or at her worst self the spirit the Holy Spirit something should move into you for you to go and uplift them to become a bridge of support that's what having the Holy Spirit is about. That's what being touched by the Pentecost experience is about. Not about if you wear white. Not about you only wait for it for a certain time of the year. No. Greater is he that is within me than he that be in the world. That means the Holy Spirit empowers you, it leads you, it is the guiding factor to how you move about in the kingdom. Make one thing very clear. The Holy Spirit, when we read about the upper room experience in the book of Acts. It's not enough to say you've been touched by the Lord and you don't do unto others as you would have done unto you. It's not enough To, to have the evidence of speaking in tongues and you don't love like God loves, you don't see things the way that God sees things, you become a bully instead of a kingdom ambassador. The days of bullying, the days of acting haughty, the days, the days of doing business as usual, the days of not operating in the fruits of the Spirit, the days of the days, the days of shunning the poor, the days of shunning the sick, the days of abandoning senior citizens, the days of turning your back on your brother, the days of using tradition. No, I didn't say the Bible because tradition is man-made. The Bible, oh, y'all don't want to hear this. The days, the grip, I'm telling you, the grip, the bondage, the grip is being broken today. It's being broken. What we currently know as business as usual, it's over. In this season, you're going to see a remnant of people arise. You're going to see a remnant of people who are going to follow the path. They're going to follow the trajectory. You're going to get ready to see the biggest agape move in the earth. It's not going to be about traditions. It's not going to be about denominations. It's not going to be about political parties. It's not going to be about elitism. It's not going to be about keeping up with the Joneses. 
It's not going to be about the Republican. It's not going to be about the Democrat. It's not going to be about the ego. It's not going to be about the elitism. It's not going to be about race. It's not going to be about this because there is a need. There is a remnant. The earth is moaning and groaning for the sons and daughters of God waiting for the manifestation the power of God to be made manifested in this earth. What we know as tradition is now falling down. Babylon is falling. If you're not doing, if you're not operating with the spirit of the integrity of God, I'm telling you, saints, brothers, body of believers, get ready because there is getting ready to be an overturn the sound, there is a sound coming from the north. There's a sound that's coming from the south. There's a sound coming from the east. There's a sound coming from the west. There is a new sound. There's a sound of the awakening, a sound of conquering, a sound, a sound of conquering ground, a sound of speaking to the ills of mankind, a sound. There is a sound. There is getting ready to be the greatest, the greatest move of God. I know what you're saying. How can it be a great move of God and we got all kinds of chaos that's happening? Ladies, brothers and sisters, saints, don't you realize the chaos is happening. The chaos is happening to get our attention that we have the power to occupy the earth. God has called us to be a victorian. He's called us to be a champ. He's called us to conquer. He's called us to pray for the sick. He's called us to pray for the poor. He's called us to be the greatest kingdom ambassadors for the time such as this. No more tradition as usual. No more doing things as business as usual. You're getting ready to see God use people like you've never seen before. They're going to be tattooed up. They're going to be pierced up. They're not going to dress like you. They're not going to talk like you. They're not going to come from the same culture like you. Why? Because God is doing a new thing. Behold, a new heavens and a new earth. Behold, traditions are being broke. The bondage is I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you are excited like me, I'm telling you, you better get in position, get in the will of God, cry out to God, seek Him, seek Him, seek Him, seek Him, seek Him. No, we're not doing tradition no more. Tradition is not, is, is, has not been pleasing God. I'm telling you, saints, you better get ready to get into position because there is a sound. There is a sound of victory. There's a sound of conquering. There's a sound of restoration. There's a sound of revival. There's a sound, the sound, the sound. Say, God, give me the sound. Give me the ears to hear. Give me the eyes to see. God, tug my heart. Renew my mind. Remove the blindness from my vision. There is a sound. God, what is this sound? What is it that you would have me to do in a time such as this? I don't wanna just speak in tongues and I still be a mean-spirited person. I don't want to just, I just don't want to just receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and I not operate and be what you called me to be. I don't want to just receive the Holy Spirit and I not be what you called me. You said you have fearfully and wonderfully made me in the image and likeness of you. God, show me how to, how to follow, how to hear your voice. Show me how not to entertain the things that don't sound like you. Show me, lead me, guide me. God, I want to be part of this sound. I want to be part of the vessel. I want to be a part of this great move of God that you've called me to be. God, give me the sound. Give me the sound. Give me the sound. Give me the sound. Me the sound. Me the sound. Me the sound. There's a sound. To keep seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. There is a sound to decree life. There is a sound to speak to the ills of mankind. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil because thou art with us. For he has anointed and appointed us to face every principality, every Ruler of darkness in high places. There's a sound. A clarion call. There's a sound. 
that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. There's a sound of victory. There's a sound of breakthrough. There's a sound of the king and queen you. that is we in you. We adopted, Father God, and we're asking you into this situation here, Father God. We know that only you can do it. And those that have come today, Father God, to march on behalf of the violence, those that have lost their lives, and we want to save those that are still here. What about the children, Father God? Oh, most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, a day we never seen before and a day we never see again. And as we walk, Father God, order our steps. The steps of a good man and woman are ordered by the Lord. Order our steps, Father God, and with every step we take, Father God, let it be a step of hope, Father God, a step of peace, Father God. Oh, Lord, we want to we want to march to the drummer's beat, and that's your beat, Father God. Thank you for all those that have come out today to do this on behalf of our community, because we can do it if we all stick together, work together in peace, Lord. Father God, we ask you for your covering the spirit of the Holy Ghost to continue to protect and guide us and open our hearts and minds and spirits, Father God. And those that are shooting, Father God, I'm going to say this and I'm going to stop it. I lift them up to you, Father God, because the police don't know where they are. The mayor don't know, but you do. And I'm asking you to bring down that strong man, Father God. Prick their hearts and their spirits. I'm not saying I want them to go to jail. I want them to stop. I want them to stick their guns into the ground. And stop wreaking havoc over top of our babies in our community. I trust and believe in you. That only you can do it, Father God. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ. This is my prayer. And I will not take it back. All under the sound of my voice. Let's just say amen. And give him a great big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
That is. So you might have to go down. Yeah, come back up. You got to fly for Saturday. Watch out, brother. We all we got. We all we need. We all we got. We all we need. It's time to be about the Father's business. It's time to breathe life, restore hope for those of the unhoused community. It's time to uplift them. It's time to encourage them. It's time to breathe life into them. It's time to witness to them. It's time to feed them time to clothe them, not just feed them physically, but spiritually. It's time to take charge over our communities. It's time to stand up. It's time to put action, to put our feet to the ground. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out here. First, let me introduce myself, even though I don't really need an introduction, but I will introduce myself because we are out here in the community. We are out here uh, at uh, Morningside Community, um, and you know, I'm a little bit troubled. I'm a little bit bothered because we have some issues that need to be resolved in this community. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of you either may or may not know where I stand at, but this is where I'm at with you. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffering violence and the violent take it by force. Okay. We have issues that's going on right here in this community. Gun violence, vandalism. We have so much nonsense that's unbecoming. We have a, a political system that is not being responsive to the needs of the constituents, is not being responsive to the business owners. I have talked and spoken with several different of the business owners in this community, and they're displeased not only with the, the political government, but they're displeased with the faith institution. We have Businesses that have been here for over 25 plus years. Mm -hmm. And there's no attached, there, there's a disconnect. Nobody knows who knows anything. Everybody's a chief, but ain't nothing getting done. Everybody's a pastor, everybody's a bishop, but ain't nothing getting done. And the needs of the people are being overlooked. Children, children, the children of the future of today are being affected. So I've spoken with several of the business owners. I've been communicating, just calling, been talking, and I said, not another daycare, not another business will be closed. Not if I got anything to do with it. I come, I call y'all all, rally y'all up, because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the night. I'm sick of it. We cannot afford another child. We cannot afford another person to be affected or affect, however. So, affect is the verb, affect is the delay. 
It's okay. So I came out here and I just want y'all to come into agreement that today it stops. We're claiming the territory. We're claiming the territory in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to give you honor. We come to give you glory in the name of Jesus. And we command every foul demonic spirit on this property to go right now in the name of Jesus. We call forth the angels from the south, from the east, from the west. We ask for your, your, your spirit, your anointing to permeate this ground. That no weapon formed against anyone shall prosper. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ on this parking lot. We, we speak for opportunities to come forth right now in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of lawlessness that is in this land right now in the name of Jesus. We command these foul spirits to go back to the pit of hell from which it has come from to never return in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to every business owner. We speak to every child, every customer. Right now, in the name of Jesus, for divine supernatural protection, right now, in the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of every demon, every demonic spirit, every spirit of witchcraft, and we command it to go in the name of Jesus. If, 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 if y'all could, could, could just, just say, go! In the name of Jesus, go! In the name of Jesus, we claim this territory. We decree and declare that this is holy ground. This is holy ground. Let the Holy Spirit saturate this place right now in the name of Jesus. We speak for every opportunity, every breakthrough to come forth. We, we speak total spiritual financial recovery right now in the name of Jesus. We speak and we command to every arrow, to every dart, to every principality, to every, to every, uh, uh, every foul spirit, every iniquity right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We speak safety for our children. We speak safety for our children. Yeah. We speak peace. We speak peace. We speak love. We speak happiness. We speak joy. We speak, we speak life. We speak life into the atmosphere. Life on this ground right now in the name of Jesus. And we command the devil to go in the name of Jesus. If y'all agree with this prayer, clap and shout hallelujah. Come on, make it. Hallelujah.